For years, Singapore has been the unquestioned gateway of Asia's internet, a choke point for global subsea cables routing data between, well, continents. But capacity, there is stretch thin. The world is hunting for the next strategic landing point. And a few days ago, at Bharat AI Shakti, Union IT and Electronics Minister Ashwini Vaishnav made India's most audacious pitch yet. Why can't we make Andaman the next big hub for global internet data transfer? End quote. That was the question he asked. This isn't a rhetorical question. It's actually a strategic infrastructure declaration. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are strategically located along the same subsea route that connects Southeast Asia to Australia and beyond. Vaishnav has urged big tech and telecom giants to set up data infrastructure in the archipelago. Promising full government support. The plan? Well, that's this. Turn Andaman into a high-capacity global internet transfer hub capable of easing pressure on Singapore and creating a new resilient routing corridor. This isn't just actually a connectivity project. It's also about repositioning India from being, well, a traffic endpoint to becoming a traffic controller, a decisive shift in the geopolitics of the internet. This announcement comes against the backdrop of Google's biggest ever investment in India, a $15 billion AI hub in Vishakhapatnam. Built in partnership with Adani and Airtel, the hub will include a gigawatt scale data center, a new subsea cable landing station and, well, a high capacity fiber network designed to handle the explosive rise in AI workloads. Airtel will host Google's new international subsea cables in Vizac connecting India directly to Google's global infrastructure. This isn't, well, two parallel developments. It's one coordinated architecture, and this is what it unfolds. Andaman as the global entry point, Wizag as the compute core. Google's AI stack as the engine powering India, India's East Coast digital corridor. And if you, well, missed our deep dive into why Google chose Wizag over Bengaluru, you can please catch that on our front page exclusive on the $15 billion deal. Coming back to what Mr. Vaishnav said, he also proposed extending the subsea cable from Vizag to Sitwe in Myanmar and onward to Mizoram and India's northeast. Critical. The current connectivity via the Railtel network requires significant augmentation. If we can go via Myanmar to Mizoram, we can bring better connectivity to the northeast. End quote. That's actually what he said. With the Sairang railway line already in place and highways to the, uh, the Myanmar border underway, India is quietly stitching together a digital corridor from Andaman to Vizag to the northeast, linking global routes to the domestic hinterland. This corridor won't just reduce latency and expand capacity. It will actually bring India's remote regions online at hyperscale speeds, integrating them directly into the global data flows. Singapore is well congested. Taiwan is geopolitically tense. Hong Kong is complicated. Andaman offers a well, a neutral, scalable, strategically stable alternative. For big tech, Google, Meta, telecom giants, this means new capacity and lower latency to reach billions of users across Asia. For India, its control over a key node of the global internet, a leverage point in the digital economy. And, well, for the AI ecosystem, this is about unlocking fast, reliable data movement, which powers everything from training and inference to distributed AI systems at scale. So finally, a year ago, Andaman was just a remote island chain. Today, it's positioned to become Asia's next digital gateway. And clearly, this isn't just about cables. It's about who controls the routes that move the world's data. Singapore owned the last chapter of connectivity. India wants to write the next one. Please let us know what you think in the comment below. And with that, well, it's time to say goodnight on front page on AIM Network, India's definitive media organization and voice on everything AI and technology. And of course, Front Page is powered by MachineCon 2025. 
it is an invite only residential summit for GCC heads exclusively brought to you by AIM Network. Well, till we meet again on front page, this is, of course, me saying very happy Diwali again. And please, think AI, think AIM. Thank <music> you.